Hey, welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant BA. My kids are out here with me, so I gotta watch my mouth. Uh, anyway, <laughs> and sippy cup. You didn't say and sippy cup. Sippy cup. It's all right. You can be in the background. All right. So I made I made something, and I I need to destroy the coffee pot. You guys remember that one morning I got up and my coffee pot quit working? Well, I'm making a video of destroying it. And I wanted to try something different. I have a slingshot. And I had some broken arrows. And I wanted to share this with you. It's a cool idea. You take and you run a metal rod. You just drill a small hole. And you run a metal rod through. And I just wrapped a little bit of electrical tape around them. But I made short arrows. And I glued, I glued the arrowheads back into them. All right. Same thing with this one. This is kind of a doomsday arrow. It's got duct tape fletchings. And I wanted to share that with you guys because I have a lot of teenager fan base too as well. And I need to keep people entertained in that aspect because, you know, they get bored and they want to make stuff as well. You know, they're not going to be able to go buy guns. So the thing is, is that they're going to be more into archery. So I try to keep it positive and stay with archery and slingshots. And I get a lot of recommendations to do slingshots. That being said, I want to show you how this works. So, you take your slingshot and then you take your makeshift arrow and you bring it underneath right here, like this. And you bring it up and you hold it tight, all right? And then slide it back. Now, when you slide it back, right? You start sliding it back, it'll start to grip on right there. You see that? Now, you whip it back and get it together. It takes practice to do this. Just missed it. Hang on a sec. Okay, wind blew it over, so let's try it again. Once again, like I said, bring it in, pull it back. See how it <laughs> delivers pretty good. All right, let's try and actually hit it this time. Go over here. Go stand over here. Okay, I will get better at it. Here we go. Let's try it again. All right, we got a pretty good size hole in it. Let's keep going. It's getting destroyed pretty good. Keep going. All right, let's keep going. Good Ellie. All right, here we go. It's barely holding together. It's in pieces. All right. It's still going. All right, again. All right, we're still going. <laughs> it's barely hanging on. It's hanging on by a thread. How many shots am I right now? Do we even know? Drop another one in there. Alright, and as you can see, that's what's left of it. I blew the I blew the back off of it. And then I blew holes straight through the center portion of it, all the way through the back. And then I blew that part out of it. So, does it work? Yes. Make yourself one. 
uh, accuracy at long range. I'm not sure how good I am at it, but I'll give it a shot. I'll hit that target down there. It's close. All right, I'm going to try and get that target just to wrap the video up. There we go. It's pretty sweet, huh? So you can hit a target with they're just little mini arrows, and you can make mini arrows out of anything, I'm sure. And there's other techniques for making one. I did one with just a uh, metal flap that went underneath it, and it caught the uh, just caught the top of it, and you could set them on top instead of setting them on the bottom. Thought I'd share it with you. It's something I've been playing with for a little bit. Uh, I do have a lot of people that are into that stuff, and uh, another another weapon to weaponize yourself with. The mini dart. I don't know what you would call that. The apocalypse dart. I don't know. You come up with a name. I don't care. Comment below. <laughs> You're watching SOS. I'm Stassar and Bass. My kids are way over there, so I'm okay. Take it easy.